Hello and welcome. My name is Lee Razzo from Neo4j. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy Neo4j Enterprise Edition from the AWS Marketplace. Now we'll begin at the Neo4j Marketplace landing page. And as you can see here, there are two different deployment models available. The Neo4j Enterprise Edition, which is what I will demonstrate today, and the other option is Neo4j Ara DB Enterprise, which is our fully managed offering. I will go through to the Neo4j Enterprise Edition. And the first page we see is the product overview with various bits of information and details about the software version, pricing information. You can estimate the resources needed here and the costs, etc. Now, once I'm ready, I click here on the upper right to continue to subscribe and I get a confirmation page, some terms and conditions. If I'm happy, I continue to the configuration page. And here, as expected, we see Neo4j Enterprise Edition under the fulfillment options. Down here below, you can choose which software version to deploy. I'll go with the most recent one today at this moment, that's 5.1.0. And here below, you can choose a region. Now, I'm located in the Netherlands, so I'm going to choose one a little bit closer to me. Let's go with London. Once I'm ready, I click Continue to Launch here on the upper right. I get a confirmation page with my previous choices. Then down here under Choose Action, open up the menu, and I choose Launch Cloud Formation, which is what we're going to use for this deployment. And I continue through. And we are presented with the CloudFormation template pre-filled in with the configuration from the marketplace. Now you can launch this as is, or you can customize it or modify it to your requirements. So for this, I will click on View in Designer. I will open this in a separate tab so that we can come back to this quickly. And you will see here the diagram of the entire deployment as well as a YAML or a JSON template that you can modify or customize and save for future use. Now today I'm gonna to go with the default, so I'll come back here to this screen and I'll click Next. And now I start to specify the details of the stack that I wanna deploy. So to begin with, let's give it a name. I'll call this one Neo4j on AWS. And I see down here the version I selected, 5.1.0. Now, if you are installing Graph Data Science or Bloom, here is where you can also paste in the license key that you received from Neo4j. Now, today I'm going to just launch the database only, but it's a bit simply a, a matter of changing this to true and pasting in the license key. Down below here, we need to select a password. Now, this password should be at least six characters, and it's important to remember this password because this is how you will access the database once it's deployed. So I made up a password to put in here. And then down here, you can configure the infrastructure. So by default, we deploy with a three node cluster, but you can change this. You can increase the nodes or you can simply deploy as a single node cluster if desired. So I'll leave this at the default as well. And uh, then next we choose the instance type by default T3 medium, but for many instances, you may actually need more memory or more uh, CPU power. You can select a larger instance. We generally recommend the memory optimized instances um, such as the R6 uh, family, R6i and R6g. Here below, you select the disk size. And normally, this is based on the expected size of the database. This can always be increased later, so it's uh, perfectly okay to start small and increase in size later. For now, I'll leave this at 100. And then lastly, the SSH CIDR, which is a, where you can restrict SSH access to specific IP addresses or specific ranges of IP addresses. Now, for the purpose of the demo, I'm just going to enter zeros here, which effectively means anyone on the internet can access it. It's not something you would normally do in production, but for the sake of the demo, I will keep it simple. And we have a few more options if desired. All of these are optional. You can add tags. You can assign permissions to a specific role. Um, and here, the stack failure options allow you to decide what you want to happen if for some reason the deployment is not able to uh, finish deploying successfully. You can either roll back all of the resources it's created and start from the beginning, 
or you can preserve anything that was de successfully deployed and just begin from there the next time around. There are a number of other options, but for now I will leave these at default. And I'll click next. We get a final confirmation. This is a chance to just check that everything is correct. It looks okay so far. And once we're happy, we can come down here to the bottom and select the acknowledgement and click Submit. And we're off and running. Now, depending on the complexity and the size of the deployment, this process of deployment might take between five or 10 minutes or so. You can always refresh the screen to check the progress. And you see here that a few things have now started deploying. A few different resources have begun. If I do it again, I'll see a few of them have now been created, uh, created successfully. And we wait here for a few minutes until it's done, uh, until it's done deploying to take the next steps. And the deployment is now ready. Now, once this is completed, all we need to do is click here on the outputs uh, link on the upper middle of the uh, toolbar here at the top. And we get the Neo4j browser URL. So if you open this up, in this case, in a new tab, it will take you straight to the management browser. Click here the username and password that you configured at the deployment in the beginning. Click connect. And we're in. If you're new to Neo4j, there are a number of helpful resources here to help you get started. For instance, if you click here on this Get Started uh, on this Get Started button, you'll be presented with a guide on how to use the browser, as well as a concepts guide for graph database and knowledge graphs in general, and a helpful guide on Cipher, the Neo4j query language. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much.